Hi, Coach Steve here today, and we're going to talk about base positions. Base is where you play when the ball goes over on the other side of the court and when you need to get ready to defend. So we'll talk about that today. Hopefully it'll help you understand it a little bit more. So in earlier videos, we talked about the basics of rotation. We talked about base position, but we talked about base position as if um, when we didn't rotate. So just basically, if you stayed in your rotated positions while you were playing the point, where would, would your base be? We're going to talk a little bit more today about variations on how one plays defense and some of the switching involved. So why would you switch? Well, you switch because you have players who are assigned positions to play on the court for both defense and offense. So in the, the uh, diagram we have here, um, we are going to call these red players outside players or left side players. Um, and we're going to call these blue players uh, right side players or a setter and an opposite, as an example. And then the middle players are called middle players or middle blockers sometimes, uh, but we'll call them middles. So uh, that sets the stage for this. Now we're going to talk about base position. There's a few things you need to know about base. First of all, at base, you need to know whether you're a front row player or a back row player. Well, what does that mean? That means when you're in the front row, you're a front row player. And in, when you're in the back row, you're a back row player. So if you are in rotation right now, this player is a back row player. But when they rotate to the front in the next rotation, they'll be a front row player. The other thing you need to know is where your assigned base is. And it's pretty simple. It's left, middle, or right. So if you are a back row player and you're uh, assigned left, you're left, back, middle back, or right back. So you have to remember front or back, left, middle, or right. Once you know that, then you know where to go in base. So when do we go to base? We go to base when this ball is on their side of the court. Now, if the ball is being jousted around the net, you might not re immediately run to base. Play volleyball first get to your assigned position second. So play the game first. So when the but in general, when the ball goes to their side, you want to go to your base. Great. So how do we do that? Well, let's say that we've got our right side player serving and they go ahead and serve the ball. Well, everybody should go to base as soon as the ball is served. Uh, but let's look at that. In the back row, in this rotation, we have everybody where we want them to be other than maybe adjusting their positions a little bit, okay? So this would be kind of a perimeter defense in the back row right now. And if you can, you see, we have the right players where they want to be, the middle players where they want to be, and so on. However, in the front row, this player is a outside player. This player is a right side player. Middle is where they want to be. So how do we deal with that? Well, if we're serving, when we get ready to serve, we will have these players look a little bit like this. They'll get relatively close and they'll switch. So as soon as the ball is hit, they will switch. Here, here, and now we're at base. Notice that these players, these players, these players are in their base positions, left, middle, and right. So when the point is over, the first thing you should do is go back to your rotated positions. If you're getting the ball back, you will rotate. If you're not getting the ball back, you'll get ready to receive the next serve from your opponent. So let's just say in this case that this player here is our setter and we want them not to receive. But we want three receivers, and that's pretty common, but it's not required. So we'll bring this back, and we say, well, um, what could we do? Well, we could do a couple of things. We want to get them out of serve receive. We could move them forward. If we do that, this player has to be in front of them, and this player can come over here, but cannot go over past them sideways, remember, because they're back row, and this is illegal. So what you might see is something like this, Okay, and then you might do this and this, okay? Um, a lot of times, teams have 
they they choose their outside hitters to be really good passers. So if if your team did that, what you would do is you would bring your outside hitter back here. This person would have to stay behind them, okay? And you could receive like this. So you'd have two outside hitters who are very often good passers. Not a requirement, but most coaches like that. And you would receive this way. Ball would come over. When the ball was received, the setter would try not to take it. They would go up in the front row to, ser to set. And notice that um, we have three front row players ready to hit. Now, we don't have our front row players exactly where we want them. Uh, we would like this person to hit on the right, uh, sorry, the left side, and we'd like this person to hit on the right side. So you might hear a coach say something like, stay for one. Okay, stay for one means we're not going to try to switch to get our, pl our front row players in their base positions until after the first time we send the ball over to the other side. So... Let's say we got a set, the set got here, the middle hit the ball over, Oop, the middle, uh, sorry, we're not moving the ball. Um, so let's say that happened, uh, well, what will we do? Well, at that point, as soon as the ball went over, we go to base, which means these two would switch after staying for one. We're not going to get more complicated than that in this video. Um, there are lots of things that go on. Let's take one more example and then we'll stop and save more complicated stuff for our next video. In this case, we have to remember after the point, let's say that we, we won that point. Uh, now we're going to get the ball back, but first we have to go to rotated position to remember where we are in rotation. So then we need to move clockwise. Okay. And we've got to go to base, or sorry, to rotated positions. So now we're in rotated positions. This person will be our next server. And we can talk a little bit about things that we would do with that server. But for now, we're going to stop there and say uh, really quickly, after our serve here, what do we do? We go to base. So some things you might want to think about are, where would we want this person to serve from if their base is left back base after we serve? Well, they might want to serve over here. And this person wants to be at right base. This person wants to be at middle base. Now, one thing you should know before we go is that this person, when you're off the court, you can uh, these persons don't have to worry about them for rotation because they're not on the court. So normally, if this person was on the court, let me clear that. If this person was on the court, the, they couldn't go, it would look something like this. You'd have to stay in order. But because this person's off the court, they can go right to base. They can serve, go right to base, and look, boom, we're almost there. What's different? The middle and the right side need to switch. Now we're at base. That's just one example. Um, there are lots of little things that we can do in addition to this, but I want to keep this relatively short. Just understand this. First, stay in rotation. Second, base, in the, as you get a little bit more complicated and learn a little bit more, your base will be assigned to you by your coach as left, middle, or, f or right, front row or back row. So it's possible uh, to have a front row that's different than a back row, but for this simple system, we're assuming left side players play left, front, and back. Middles play middle, front, and back. And right sides play right side, front, and back. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about some additional things you can do when you switch in a later video. So I hope you find this helpful, and I hope you stay in rotation, and you learn where base is. And it, once you get it going, it'll be a lot easier. You'll be surprised how quickly you learn it. So we'll see you next time. And thanks for watching.